Hi, my name's Ashley Rice and welcome to my YouTube channel. Okay guys, it has been a really, really, really long time since I have done a what I eat in the day. And I figured since I'm spending the whole day at home <laughs> because of COVID, uh, that I would just share with you guys what I'm eating today. So it is currently, I slept in a little bit today because I could. So it's currently 11.32. So I am gonna kinda do kind of a brunchy meal since it's so close to lunch, but I also want a little bit of breakfast. So I'm gonna go and grab that now. Okay, so I figured I'd kinda just do some cereal. So I have this Kashi cereal. Uh, that is vegan. So I'm going to do some of that with some oatly milk and then I'm also going to throw in this orange juice that I got from Imperfect Foods. If you want to see that unboxing, I'll also link the video up in an eye. Let's have some cereal! I'm also going to be working out a little bit later today, so I'm going to be having some pre-workout gummies as well from Herbaland. This is uh, a company that I recently did a video haul for as well, so if you're curious about what other products I got by this cool Canadian company, I'll link that up in an eye on one of those sides. Okay, I just got back from my workout and I'm gonna have an apple as a snack. We're going to be eating dinner kind of late today, mostly because we're doing an Airbnb online experience for a Korean cooking class. And the meals aren't originally vegan friendly. However, um, Min Soon, who is the instructor, she like knows how to make the dishes vegan and so she made some recommendations for that. Um, so I wanted to share a little bit about that online experience because we've taken one class with her and we absolutely loved it. We had to learn how to make vegan bibimbap and jokchae, which are both so good and I love them now. I hope to eventually somehow show them on my channel, probably in a different what I eat in a day. But the class starts at 8 p.m. and we're gonna be making a ton of dishes. We're gonna be making some tapoki and then two other uh, meals I can't remember the names of. But so because it's so late um, and because it's so heavy later, I'm gonna only eat an apple as a snack. I might come back and eat a little something later too before eight o'clock. Um, but right now it's 5.31, so I figured I would chow down on this guy. And then I'll show you guys a little bit of the cooking class as we are making these three different dishes, which I'm so excited about. Um, I love Korean food, so this is like super exciting for me. But I'll see you guys after eight o'clock showing you how we're gonna make those Korean dishes vegan. Okay, so the class is about to start in like less than 15 minutes. And so we just laid out all the ingredients, but I kind of wanted to show uh, the ingredients to you guys so you can kind of see what's going into each of these meals. So this is for what I think is called duck gogi. I could be 100% wrong. Um, we have all these ingredients right there that I've pre-measured out. We're gonna be using some vegan cheese in the recipe rather than actual cheese. And rather than meat, we're gonna be using some tofu, but we have all these guys here. If you're looking for a good gochujang sauce, highly recommend. It's so good, so good. I throw it in everything now. This is the stuff for gimbap. We got some seaweed here. This is all the carrot we're gonna be needing for the recipe. And then also some pickled radish, some rice. Um, and this recipe also calls for egg, but we're gonna see what she recommends for replacing it. When we did bibimbap with her, she actually recommended green onions um, instead of egg. So I'll be interested to see what she recommends with this dish right here. And then we're also making tapoki today. And this is not all the ingredients for the tapoki, um, but this is stuff that you know, is not being used in other parts of the recipe. We also have these fake chicken cubes uh, to replace kind of the meaty taste that you might get into pokey. But I'm just gonna go ahead and throw on the screen some of the footage that I get from our class so you can kind of see what the experience is like. And if it ends up being something that you wanna try out for yourself, I will link her Airbnb link down below in the description box as well. And I highly recommend checking her out. She's really, really cool. And she's also really good at finding vegan alternatives for anyone who is also vegan and vegetarian as well. How about actually, did you make bibimbap again? Yeah, we made some bibimbap and japchae. So we, we got a bunch of noodles so we can make that. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy to hear that. We cut like this triangle style, but today we will cut slice because we will make kimbap with this takdali. Ashley and Lo, oh, have you ever tried tteokbokki? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we had it at a Korean restaurant in St. Paul and we also found a like pre-boxed noodle thing at our local oh. Asian market. Yeah. So it was so, a 
very spicy pre-packaged tteokbokki. Yes. We just finished our class. We also got to learn a little bit about uh, soju and how to pair it with certain ones. So we have this uh, soju and we made uh, what's called somek, which is beer and soju together. So we're going to now finish up all these dishes that you can see on the screen. We totally messed up the gimbap. It was really bad. We didn't have sticky rice. It didn't work out too good. <laughs> that was our bad. But now we're gonna go ahead and eat all of this while watching some shows. But fun fact about this guy, you also can eat it with some lettuce. We'll show you really quick. Yeah, so we picked up some butter lettuce. So you can just like scoop up and grab pieces and eat it street food style. Yep. And if you do it Korean style, you do it all in one bite, all in one bite. <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and finish up our dinner. It is 10 o'clock, so uh, we are hungry. But that's gonna be it for this video, guys. I'm not gonna eat anything after this. Like, this is gonna be good. <laughs> So let me know in the comments below what you thought about these meals, but also let me know what are some of the things that you are cooking while in quarantine or while taking care of yourself during this time of COVID. Um, and definitely make sure to check out Minsoon's class. It is so much fun. She is so sweet. And like, this is the second class we've taken with her and we'll probably take more because we learn like so much and it's just a blast. So uh, definitely make sure to check out that link down below so you can take her class as well. But other than that, if you are new to my channel, I would absolutely love it if you would subscribe and click the little bell that down below. Also make sure to give this video a thumbs up and other than that I'll see you guys next time. Bye!